What's up guys? So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. See, there's something interesting happening where every day I'm doing live streams with pro members. So if you're not a pro member, you should become a pro member. There's going to be a link down below. Every day, 2 p.m., we sit down, we chat about anything, finance, money, business, girls, the whole nine. And every time I'm in that Discord and I see people just putting comments, it just sparks new ideas. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to give you guys an extra video a day. We're going to do, an, an, we're going to do two videos a day now here on the main channel. And the second video will usually be a topic that was sparked because of that, that discord and what we're doing with the pro member. So today I'm going to tell you what to never say to a girl you like. I don't care if this girl's a 10. I don't care if this girl's a baddie. I don't care how thick this girl is. I don't care how many followers this girl has. You should never say this to a girl if you like her. Number one, good morning or good night. Look, it just doesn't matter, bro. Too many guys jump the gun thinking, man, I'm going to be super sweet. I'm going to make her think that I'm thinking about her all the time. It's actually cringy. It's uncomfortable, especially if there's no emotional connection. Bro, if you have not emotionally connected with that girl, she does not want your good morning and good night text. Matter of fact, she's probably throwing up a little bit in her mouth. Number two, hi. You see, whether this is in person or through text, you need to understand that the burden of conversation is on you. Unless... You got money, fame, and you're that 1% type of dude. If you're out there like trying to build up your charisma, your confidence, and networking with women, the burden of conversation is on you. Meaning that if you just open a conversation with hi, with no context, with you give her nothing, she's going to drag trying to respond to you because that's why she's leaving you on red. It, it, you're putting the entire burden of keeping and flowing the conversation on her. And then when she responds dry to you, you think, oh man, this girl's so boring. No, that girl's not, that girl's probably not boring. That girl's probably hella fun. She probably looks good too. And she'll probably be good to be with as well. But because you're putting the burden on her, she doesn't want to carry that sword. You're the one that's pursuing her. Therefore, when you have a conversation with her, you need to perfect the art of small talk. Number three, I hate this one. You're too pretty. You're too pretty blank. Or, oh man, thank you for, thank you for coming on a date with me. Thank you for respond. Like, any sort of texts that makes it seem as if she's doing you a favor or again, text verbally, doesn't matter if you're in person, any sort of thing that you say to a girl that makes it seem as if what she did was a favor to you, you just chopped your own balls off. Like you've, you've ruined your own chances mainly because now she's thinking she's going to make a wish foundation date, right? Now she's giving you a wish. This is a charity case. You ain't getting, you ain't getting, you ain't even getting to first base. Number four, why don't you ever call me back? Why don't you ever say yes to any of my dates? Why don't you ever call me? Why don't you ever FaceTime me? My guy, you, bro, you sound salty. Like, a lot of guys think that they're doing this thinking that they're funny or being witty. You're not. You sound salty. You sound pressed that the one girl that you're interested in is not giving you any attention, which is why I've told you when you're single, bro, your only goal should be to talk to multiple women. First of all, you're gonna be tasting different types of flavors, right? Different types of ethnicities and personalities, but more importantly, you're gonna be perfecting your game. And then on top of that, it fights off that neediness. Bro, the reason why you're so pressed that she's not texting you back is because you got nobody else to text. If girl A doesn't text you back, you got girl B, C, D, E, F, G to keep you entertained. Number five, I love you. Do not declare your love for a woman. See, you got to understand how women work and how you work. We, we fall in love with our eyes. You see a girl with a banging body, you start thinking, man, I'm going to give this girl kids. Man, I'm going to Man, I don't care if this girl makes me poor, right? Like, you start thinking of all these things because you just fell in love through your eyes. The girl's thick. The girl's right in all the right places, right? Women aren't that way. Women aren't going to see you and think, man, I'm in love, right? Or, man, that guy is perfect. Women need that emotional connection first. So if you think that because you've been obsessing over her for months and you've built that emotional connection with her for months, that she's going to feel the same way, you're just going to look like a creep, bro. And the worst part, this is what most guys do. When they feel her slipping through the cracks, when they feel they see that she might be giving another dude a little bit too much of attention, that's when they declare their love. They'll send her a text or you'll push, put her to the side and be like, man, you know, I've been thinking about you so much lately. I can't stop thinking about you. I can't take you out of my head. I'm in love with you. You sound cringy, clingy, and desperate. Bro, never declare your love for a girl. And finally, number six, don't give her any pet names. Princess, baby girl, honey bear. I don't care what the pet name is. 
Again, too many guys jump the gun, right? You get too, too connected too quick because you're too desperate, right? When that girl is connected to you, right, like they, they, you've, you, you, you've established a relationship, yeah, throw, throw all, all sorts of cute names. Call her whatever you want. Make her think she's yours. Yeah, it's going to get her hooked. But when you're first starting that conversation with her, you're just starting to flirt with her, unless like you're super smooth with it and your confidence is like, the thing is that if you're that guy, you're probably not dealing with this video. So I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the dude that probably won't be as confident. Dropping a, dropping a pet name, it's going to make you look cringy, bro. That's it for today, bro. We're going to come back tomorrow with another second video. If you guys like this style video a little bit quicker, we're just going to be, we're going to be covering those, those, those issues that guys are dealing with today. Yo, let me know. We're going to be dumping these. That's it for your boy today. See you next time.